Today I show you how to enable the autocorrect on your Android phone. And especially when you use the Gboard keyboard for your Android phone, you have the option to set autocorrect on to give you a suggestion or to actually change the words as you type. So before going into too much details and too much talking, I will show you now, this is the Google Keep Notes app. And I only open this app to be able to show the keyboard here. To open the settings for the Google keyboard, you can either go into the, an app that has a keyboard input and you might have an option here where it shows you settings, a settings gear icon or a four squares menu and then this gear icon. But if you don't have some of the options enabled to show you these settings, you can actually long press here on the emoji icon right there and then you choose there is the settings. And now you are in the Google keyboard settings, but I'll show you how to get to this. You can actually search for Gboard. So I make a search for Gboard because I use the Google keyboard Gboard. This is the app with all the settings. So when you open the app, you have the option to switch the languages. Here I will not go into too many details for each setting here, but you have lots of options. So it's very configurable. But what you need to look for is text correction, text correction right here. And you have the show suggestion trip. I really recommend you enable that. And then next word suggestion. You can use next word suggestion if you want it to predict what you're typing. And that's, I think it's a an, an op good option, but could keep it off. And don't suggest offensive words. That's a good idea to have it. You can use suggest contacts, but I wouldn't recommend that. And the option to actually correct what you're typing is autocorrect correct words while you're typing. And then you can use different options to undo when you press the backspace, you can undo an autocorrect and auto space after punctuation. I'm not sure about that. It's always good to have auto capitalization and double space to full stop. I'm not sure about this spell check and grammar check. This you should always enable them. You should have them. So now after I change the settings, when I open the keyboard app, because I enabled the suggestion strip, I have here also all the settings. I can easily go back into the settings now. I don't have to use this emoji shortcut right here. And this four square gives me lots of options for the keyboard. And if I was going to type now, you see here there are automatic suggestions and I could tap on one of these. But I could actually, I will show you now, uh, the with double R, and it did a flash there, autocorrect, but it didn't autocorrect this one, so I can fix it up there. Hello, let's change it to yellow. So it's not really perfect, but this is how you enable it. You have to be careful, it's flashing when it's actually changing. So let's try. Now this is flashing while it's actually changing and I'm hoping that this is getting it right. Okay. Yeah, I think at some point it stops, it stops doing it if you're doing some removing some corrections all the time. But this is how you enable the autocorrect. You have to be careful with autocorrect if you want it because it might put some words that are wrong, but you blocked offensive words, so it shouldn't correct and put something, some bad words there. Thanks for watching.